Hello everybody, welcome back to Hi-Fi Resale Shop. I am Derek, I am a full-time reseller on eBay. Um, I've been selling on eBay for about 17 years now. Um, and uh, do mostly clothes, some um, media and stuff like that uh, in terms of CDs and books. And um, I usually go through the things that I've sold over the weekend. We had some pretty good sales over the weekend uh, that Microsoft outage, I think, uh, affected us a little bit. I don't know how, but um, we didn't do so hot on, um, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, it might have been Saturday. Um, and so Friday, it was Friday. And uh, we didn't do so hot that, that day. We did have a really good sale on that day that... Um, we made a bunch of money from but that was one of the only things that sold that day um, so w without further ado we'll go through the things that lists uh, that sold over the weekend um, I, I was out at um, a garage sale uh, slash estate sale that I was helping with um, and so I wasn't uh, listing things I haven't listed things probably for four days which is not good but um, we do what we can when we can do it, and uh, just wasn't able to work on my eBay store the last couple of days. Um, one of the first things that sold this morning was this postcard. Uh, it's a Wrigley Field postcard, um, vintage from 1988. Um, pretty cool. Um, that sold for $4 plus shipping on top. Um, the next item that sold was a uh, backpack. Uh, so that's over. That's over here. This backpack I bought at uh, Walmart. They were on sa sale, like clearanced out. Um, can't remember it was. Maybe at the end of the school year, it's got the little lunch pail and the backpack part. Um, I think I got them for like a dollar twenty-five a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have a nine more of these unicorn backpacks, and I have two um, the child Mandalorian backpacks or something like that. And since you know back to school is going, I think. Uh, that these might start to sell now. So this sold uh, for $16 plus shipping on top. So it's not a bad sale there. The next item, uh, kind of pricey sale. This came from um, our estate sale that we did. At the end of the estate sales, I kind of go through and pull the best items out and in this case, it just goes into their consignment uh, sale of the closet of clothes that they gave me. Um, but this um, urn or like big terrine is from Leona Lavatro Amano. It's made in Italy. It's like ivory with a crackle glaze and then um, there was the tiniest chip up here, but she really kind of blends in with the color and everything. So this is going to have to be uh, well packed. Um, but that sold for $70.40 plus shipping on top. So that's cool. The next item is a shirt that sold. Um, Torrid. It's not necessarily a brand I'll, I'll pick up, um, but uh, red burgundy floral print sheer top. This sold for $8.63 plus shipping on top. Um, the next item was a CD, Bruce Springsteen, Nebraska new sealed um, this sold for six dollars plus shipping on top um, the next item is a group of cds i lotted together they're all metallica cds 
Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six CDs in this lot. It has And Justice for All, Black, Load, Reload, S&M, and Saint Anger. So uh, Saint Anger, I think, is a, a disc and a DVD, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, S&M is a two-disc set. And then, you know, the rest of them have a single CD in them. This sold for $19 plus shipping on top. So I might end up doing more lots if that's how it works out. It might be just that it's Metallica, that people are interested in it. The next item is called Better Than Basic. It's a black collared shirt dress. Um, this sold for $14.40 plus shipping on top. Okay, let's see what else here. The next one is a CD that sold. There's a Petra CD for you Christian hard rock fans. $12.80 plus shipping on top. The next is another CD, a used Elysian Fields. This sold for $5 plus shipping on top. And then let's see what else we got. We got these shorts that sold. Dan skin um, seems to sell pretty well, even though it's not, you don't get a lot of money for it. Dan skin shorts, they were a size large with a pink trim on the inside. This sold for $11 plus shipping on top. And then the big sale, the big sale of the whole weekend. Um, I am selling this for a friend. Uh, I'm not necessarily gonna take any money. Whatever he wants to give me for selling it, I will take. But I sold this for a friend. So this, Harley Davidson jacket sold. It's a really nice jacket. It's got like extra padding on the elbows. It's got some patches on the side. Um, it's got extra padding in the um, uh, shoulders. I think he said you can put like hard patches inside of the jacket. It's got this hoodie that comes along with it that zips into it. It's got the back with the big old patch on the back and everything. All the zippers are in great working order. This is like basically like new. Um, the hood on the inside has a little has a skull on it and everything. Um, this sold for $300 plus shipping on top. Um, and it's going to, I think, like Oklahoma or something. So I hope this person really likes it. This particular item, my friend said he bought it for like 550 bucks, which seems about the right price. Uh, when I was listing it, I was just so aggravated um, because there's somebody in Pakistan who's selling knockoffs, but I don't think eBay is going to do anything about it. The knockoffs that are being sold through Pakistan. This jacket um, wasn't made in Pakistan. I can't remember where it was made. Sometimes these leather goods are made in like India and stuff. But this one, this was not made there. And I don't remember exactly where it was made. Let me see if I can find it. Huge tag on this thing. Um, so this Indian group, I mean this Pakistani group, was selling these knockoffs of this. Um, and they're ruining the market on it, you know, because they're selling it for almost half the price um, that it should be going for. And uh, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see the country of origin on it. Um, but the Pakistani group is selling the same pictures, multiple listings. They should be taken down because there's multiple listings of the same item. Um, but uh, they're not taking those listings down. And then they're selling this jacket that's probably worth closer to $500. Um, they're selling it for like $175. And so 
I put mine up there hoping that the people who are looking at these listings can see that all of those are the same, coming from the same places in Pakistan, and they're got to be ripoffs to be able to sell it for that amount, taking that big of a hit on that. Um, but if you're going to buy mine, you're going to get the real deal. So um, hopefully the person really enjoys this jacket because it's a great jacket. The heavy duty zippers and all the extra stuff on it. It's a really nice jacket and it's in like new condition. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. The only issue might be is if somehow it doesn't fit the person. So um, extra large Harley Davidson jacket sold for $300 plus shipping on top. Really good sale. I think that was on Saturday, Friday, Friday. Um, and um, so in the course of those orders, um, gross sales of almost uh, $590. So that's pretty good for a weekend. Um, and um, really good day on Friday and then a decent day on Sunday. Um, I watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos yesterday of how to get um, your subscribers up and how to get your your views up and stuff like that. And I'm going to try and implement some of that stuff as soon as I can into the videos. Um, since I don't make anything from doing these YouTube videos, I don't want to spend too much time on them. Um, until I get closer to the um, followers that I, I would like to have. Um, if you know anybody who is interested in this kind of content, please let them know about the channel. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below uh, if you have a question or anything on how I do things or why I do things a certain way. Um, or uh, would like me my opinion on any kind of question. Uh, put it down below and I will gladly answer it. Um, this is going to be a kind of a short video. Um, I don't have anything planned to talk about. Uh, I'm just going to do my shipping because I got this uh, terrine, this kind of a hard pack. And then I got to put some time and effort into the leather jacket pack to make sure that that doesn't get uh, wet or anything on its way where it's going. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the videos. Uh, if you have any questions down below, appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.